Let's make some Texas style chili. In this video, I'm gonna give you my award-winning Texas style chili recipe. Now, chili is a really complex recipe, and the key to an award-winning chili at home is to make it your own. In this recipe, we're using three and a half pounds of ground beef, half an onion, one bell pepper, three garlic cloves, three Roma tomatoes, quarter cup of tomato paste, four tablespoons of chili powder, two teaspoons of smoked paprika, half a teaspoon of oregano, two teaspoons of cumin, one teaspoon of cayenne pepper, one tablespoon of OG, that's my salt, pepper, and garlic, one tablespoon of wow, two tablespoons of better than bouillon. We're also adding something that really kicks up the flavor, mirepoix. We're also gonna finish it out with two tablespoons of masarina. Now here's the biggest pro tip that the chili champs use, brown your meat over high heat before adding it to the dish. This will take your chili recipe to a whole other level of flavor nirvana. Now let's get fired up and make us a Texas bowl of red. Yeehaw! Let's start browning this meat. First thing you wanna do is get this pan nice and hot. So I'm gonna start dropping a little bit of meat here. You wanna make sure you hear some of that sizzle right there, just like that. I have this burner as high as it will go. All right, look at that. We wanna get this brown as quickly as possible. You see how much water we have here in this pan? After it releases a good amount of water, there's two things you can do. You can either wait till it all evaporates or you can drain some of that water, which is what I'm gonna do right now. All right, here we go. Back on the fire she goes. There should be enough fat in this meat that we don't have to add oil. If you're using lean ground beef, then you're gonna to wanna to add some oil or some lard or some beef fat. All right, folks, look at that. Now we're starting to get a little bit of brown. It took about four minutes to start browning this meat. Now we don't wanna cook it all the way. We just wanna get a little bit of that yummy brown goodness on there. And if you see down here, there's a nice, good looking little fond. And we're gonna dump this meat here and then lift up the fond. And how we're gonna get that fond off is with a little bit of water. Gonna steam up a little bit. Folks, I promise you, this is one of the secrets to some amazing flavor. All right, friends, we're gonna dump that into the pot and start the second batch. We're on our third browning batch of the ground beef. We wanna get all of that goodness in there. Every last drop. <laughs> I'm gonna turn this up to high. I'm gonna add some water. You can add beef broth, chicken broth, beef stock, chicken stock, whatever, folks. It doesn't really matter. Now, me personally, I just wanna add enough water to cover the meat for now. We're gonna add a little bit more later. We're gonna bring it to a boil. Once it starts to boil, then we're gonna slow it down to a simmer. It's gonna be about a two and a half to three hour cook. All right, so we're gonna add these onions. We're gonna stir fry them. We wanna get them a little bit translucent. As that's going on, we're also gonna add our bell pepper. And I'm gonna reserve these other onions for a little while. I'll show y'all why in just a minute. So we're gonna add the garlic as soon as this stuff here starts to get a little bit translucent and soft. In the meantime, while this is going on, my pot started to boil a little bit. So I lowered the heat on the chili pot. See how it's steaming out the side there? That means I need to lower it a little bit more. We don't want it steaming too hard. As soon as this garlic gets nice and toasty a little bit, not a lot, just a little bit, then we're gonna go ahead and add the tomatoes. Whoop, whoop. We're cooking, friends. Three tablespoons of tomato paste. Now that our tomatoes are nice and hot, and a little bit of water. You can see how it's not boiling real fast, it's just simmering. We're gonna add all of this delicious yummies in here, and we're gonna give it a little stir. We've been adding some different ingredients and flavor to our chili. Now we're gonna build our powder dump. That's what you call it in the chili world. So I'm gonna mix all the powders into one bowl here, and then we're gonna go dump it into the pot. So let's get started. Uh, we're gonna take two tablespoons of the Fiesta light chili powder. And you'll notice right away that the color is even very, very different. So we're gonna take two tablespoons of this. We're gonna take one tablespoon of the Gephardt chili powder. And if you look close, you can see that the color is very different. One tablespoon of smoked paprika, half a teaspoon of oregano, two teaspoons of comino, also called cumin. We're gonna add one teaspoon of Cayenne, trust me, that's not enough in a three pound dish of chili to even taste it. Now we're gonna take two tablespoons of OG. This is more salt, pepper, and garlic. Of course, we gotta put wow, so we'll put one tablespoon of wow in there. Let's mix it all up. 
you can see how it's simmering really nice there. So we're gonna dump all these powders in here and let those start cooking into the dish, into the meat. Give it a little stir. That's gonna be great. Put the lid back on and let it continue to cook. Okay, friends, you can use beef broth, as I said earlier, uh, if you want it to be a little beefier. I don't use beef broth. I like to use, it's called Better Than Bouillon. This has a really good beefy flavor. So we're gonna put two teaspoons. That's one, and that is number two. This bouillon does have salt in it too, so you might start with a little bit less if you're sensitive to salt. All right, friends, now here's another ingredient that I like to add to my chili and some other dishes. This is something called mirepoix, and what it is, it was created by some French chefs many, many, many moons ago. And what you do is you take about equal amounts of onion, celery, and carrots, and you sweat them slowly in a pan with a little bit of oil in there. You sweat them, you brown them a little bit, brings out an extra, extra delicious flavor. Then they add it to different sauces and different dishes to really enhance the flavor. And I'm gonna add that to the chili pot as well. <whistles> if you guys could smell, this chili already smells really fantastic. All right, let's give it a little stir again. Let that stir. Folks, this has been cooking for an hour now, approximately. We've got another hour, maybe hour and a half to go, at least as a minimum. I've been tasting, it tastes amazing, but I thought it needed a little bit more chili powder and a little bit more of the smoked paprika. So I'm gonna put a tablespoon of chili powder and about half of a tablespoon of the smoked paprika. We've got about another hour to go. We're gonna just let it ride. Our chili is about done. It's been three hours. The last thing we're gonna add is going to be some Masa. I'm gonna take one tablespoon of masarina. It thickens it quick, does a great job. Now you can use flour or whatever you like. I like to use masarina. I'm already hungry for some chili. Some of that didn't come out, so we're gonna put this in here. And uh, we're gonna let that cook for about another 10 minutes. Then we'll be eating some chili. Woo -hoo! Good stuff, friends. Really good stuff. All right, all right, all right, all right. Here we go, we got this nice big pot of chili. Let's see what it looks like. hoo -wee. Looks gorgeous. This has a beautiful, gorgeous red color. Look at that. Check that out. Wow. Now, one of the things I did, I shut it off. You want to let your pot settle down and cool off a little bit. That oil, whatever excess oil you have, will float to the top. That'll allow you to skim it off the top and discard it if you don't want it in your chili. I got rid of some. All right, here we go, folks. That's a pretty little bowl of chili right there. Now, a lot of folks like to use onions. I only like onions when they're cooked, when they're translucent, when they're soft. I can't handle them when they're crunchy. So I'm not gonna put any onions. I like stuff really hot. My wife and my mother do not. So I don't make it hot. That's why it only had one teaspoon of cayenne. I have some habanero powder right here. I also ground up my own chile piquin. You can put chile piquin in there. I also have the salsa verde, which we already have a video out on how to make the salsa verde. Only two things I really like is heat, cheese, and my chili. So we're gonna put a little bit of cheese up here on top. A little bit of piquin around the edges, because I do like my chili to have a little bite in it. And that'll blend in as I start to eat it. I'm gonna put one good sized teaspoon right on top of this cheese right here. This is the way I like to make my chili. We're gonna mix this up just a little bit. I do like to eat crackers with my chili too. So you get a little bit of chili, put it in your mouth. Mm-hmm. Cracker. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's good chili right there. That's good chili right there, right there. That's fantastic, friends. I love that. Really, really good. Some of you are gonna say sacrilegious, but in my house, we do like a little bit of pinto beans with our chili. Don't get mad. Different folks, different strokes. <laughs> Not a lot. I never cook beans with my chili, but I do like it on the side just a little bit. Ain't no right way, ain't no wrong way, right? That's what Arnie Tex always says. Mm, 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 mm. Could use a little more heat. I'm gonna put a little bit of habanero powder in here. Just a little bit. This stuff's hot, so be careful. Mmm. Whew. I'm starting to sweat a little bit. It's hot, got a great little bite, but it, it's just hot. It warms you up from the inside out. 
That's what chili and soups do. I'm gonna close out so I can eat the rest of my bowl. Thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to like, comment, and share it with your family and friends. If you would like to get some of the APC Wow Rub, you can get that at pitmaster.us. Same thing for the APC OG, pitmaster.us. And if you wanna up your barbecue game, go to pitmasterclass.us, check out my online classes. I guarantee you, you'll really enjoy them if you join us. Folks, thanks for watching. Keep the smoke light, make it work. And wow, boom, yum, 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 yum. Pow and wow. Pow and wow. Mm. One teaspoon and three pounds of chili, trust me, you're not gonna taste it. All right, now, I need a spoon, honey. Time to move this over. Hey, wait, I come in. So let me take a big old bite of this. You know, did I ever tell you all the story? When I was going to school in Pecos, Texas, I was in sixth, seventh grade, and there used to be a Rexall drugstore down the street from the junior high I used to go to, and I would go over there at least twice a week, and they would always serve us a big old bowl of red. That place always had chili and milkshake, and uh, it, it was awesome, man. That's my first memory of chili, the Rexall drugstore in Pecos, Texas. All right, let's taste it. What, did I ever, no, just kidding. <laughs> All right.